Hello and welcome to the channel. I am going to be the host for this super wide single. And I say super wide because it is an 18 foot wide single. And I'm telling you, if I was shopping for a single wide, this is the one. Look at this. Great big dormer in here. The living room in this home is outstandingly big. The kitchen, one of the best kitchens I've seen, especially in a single wide. I mean, it's got to be the best single wide kitchen I've seen. If not, it's like in the top two to three. But this kitchen, one of the best I've ever seen in the single wide. I will say the master bathroom in this, huge, bigger than master bathrooms I've seen in double wides. It is a massive bathroom. All your bedrooms are good sized in this thing. Um, you even have a dining room. You have a closed off laundry room. Y'all are going to stick around and check this one out. Even if you're not in the market for a single wide, you got to check this out. It's going to blow you away. Now this is at Pratt Homes in Tyler, Texas. Okay, so I'm standing kind of back a little bit. I wanted to show you your front door here has the full on glass. Front door you don't usually see in your single wides. We've got our, our uh, heater access right here, which is kind of the beginning of your hallway. And look how wide that hallway is, but we gotta come here first. Look at the size of the living room in this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm breathless. We're speechless. Now you don't have to put your TV there. You can put it on this great big wall right here. They could put it between your windows there. You've got the vaulted ceiling, and then you've got your dormer. Vents in the ceiling in a single wide. Yeah, come on now. Tell me y'all seen a single wide with a vents in the ceiling before. You got crown molding. Let's see if I can get it for you. Yes, crown molding all throughout here. Full sheetrock. I mean, <laughs> This is like, I'm telling you, if I was in the market for a single wide, I'm buying this thing. <laughs> 1,360 square foot of a single wide. That is bigger than some of your double wides. Plenty of room table right here. You've got an island with a bar. So you've got the raised bar here, and then you've got your island. Your sink is directly behind your stove.
I mean, even your microwave, not built in above the stove. Pots and pans drawers right below your microwave. Big cabinets up here. Now they're non-adjustable shelves, but look at how big these cabinets are, almost to the ceiling. You got a stack of drawers right next to your stove. They come all the way around. Look at all those cabinets. And then look at that vent hood. I mean, I told you this was a really nice kitchen. Well, you got nice countertops. Of course, they got a heater right there. It's not the best way to show it. But look, you've got the tile backsplash. Goes all the way up to your vent hood. Now let's just stand back and, and just admire how beautiful of a kitchen this is and how big of a kitchen this is for a single wide. I mean, look how wide this hallway is. As I kind of pointed out earlier, you've even got linen cabinets. I mean, it's wide enough to put a linen cabinet here. We're gonna do the bathroom first because this is a first. You got your sink. We've got our linen cabinets with drawers. We've got a great big. So great big one piece fiberglass shower instead of the shower tub combo. Now I don't know if that is an option to get the combo if you wanted the tub. Or who knows, maybe you could even put a garden tub in there. And then our Toilet is kind of recessed back a little ways. So now our bedrooms. I mean, even though this one doesn't run the full width of the home, good sized bedroom. I mean, <laughs> Lots of bedroom space in here, and you get the standard size closet. Still got the vaulted ceilings in here. Front bedroom. Now this one is still a little bit smaller than, you know, your back bedroom because it is a single wide. And so, you know, some sacrifices do still have to be made in the front bedroom. But by no means is this near as small as what you would see in your standard single wide. And you never get a closet this big in your standard single wides in the front bedroom. Oh yeah, did I mention the LVP flooring? These are hand laid tiles. So it's not technically LVP, but these are hand laid tiles in your flooring. You've got a full on utility room with room for a freezer. 
You could put a freezer in there. Side by side washer and dryer. Full on glass back door. Tell me that's not a utility room to oogle at in a single wide. Now your bedroom, I mean, open feeling, nice airy feeling because of those vaulted ceilings. Yeah, those double doors go to your bathroom. Remember I was telling you your bathroom is huge? You just wait. Now that's a queen size bed in your bedroom for comparison. Because you, you've got these great big windows on either side of it. Now we're going to check out the closet. I mean, you want to talk about a single wide closet in the master bedroom? Bam! <laughs> Look at the size of this closet. Now that does have your water heater access right there. But I mean, look at how much closet space you have in your master bedroom. I opened that door and I about fell over. Okay, y'all ready for this? Let's see if I got it set up where I can do it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, one of them didn't open up right. Oh, well, I tried. I tried. <laughs> yeah, great big garden tub as soon as you walk in. And you've got his and her sinks. Full stack of drawers. Look at the size of that vanity mirror on that side. Window above your garden tub. And then they mirrored it on this side. Literally mirrored it. I mean, look, <laughs> huge vanity mirror on this side too. And then you've got your toilet back here, along with some more linen cabinets. Check out the size of this bathroom, especially with the vault up there. I mean, it just huge. And then you've got the same one piece shower that you had in your guest bathroom or kids bathroom. I mean, it's just, I'm telling you, this is the one. All right, so you guys got to get down in the comments and let me know, is this the one for you? If you were in the market for a single wide, how does this one do for you? And what else would you want to do? What else could you change? I mean, this is just like immaculate. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button. Share the video with your friends and family. I know there's somebody especially in Texas, it would love to see a single wide like this. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. I will be back with some price information. Thanks for watching. Right, well now we gotta get into that uh, price information for this home. So this is the Creekside. It comes in at 1,365 square feet. So this is made by Oak Creek Homes and is sold by Pratt Homes. Now, I looked at Oak Creek's website, and ironically, I can't find anything called the Creekside in their single wides. So I'm wondering if this is, and I should have called and got the information, but I'm wondering if this is specifically made for Pratt Homes by Oak Creek Homes. <clears throat> so with that said, I filmed this one back in January of 2023. It's now September. I mean, they had so many homes, and I'm just now getting this one out. 
Um, like I said, in this course, is the last one I have from Pratt Homes. So the price information that Pratt Homes gave me for this home was at time of filming in January of 2023. They didn't give me an actual price. They gave me a range. That's a pretty narrow range. The range for this one they gave me is $100 to $110 a square foot. And there goes the air conditioner. Hopefully it's not too loud. It'll be in 1,365 square feet. That's going to put the home anywhere from 136000 up to 150000 Now, I'm not sure exactly how, how many options they put in on this one. I know that dormer was an option because the base model that I found a picture of doesn't have the dormer. Um, I know you can get a tile shower in the master bathroom, so there's a, another option that you can get. Um, so with that said, I hope y'all enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and don't forget to subscribe button, like button, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.